Today's word in Italian is lava, which is the same word in English when it's a noun. Lava as a verb means to wash, but I'm talking about the, non the noun today. Lava is what comes out of a volcano. And if you see certain films with Anna Magnani, with Sophia Loren, you understand the volcanic personalities of certain Italians. This is a country that has at least three active volcanoes. You have Mount Vesuvius above Naples and Pompeii. You have Mount Etna above the huge city of Catania in Sicily. And then you have Stromboli, which is named for the island on which it sits. It's off the northern coast of Sicily. Now, I know that Americans say Stromboli and they think it's an Italian food. It's not. It's Stromboli, and that was a film with, with Ingrid Bergman a magnificent, passionate, lava-filled movie. Now, why am I bringing up lava? Because if you live in a place where a volcano can erupt at any time, it gives you a certain kind of live-in-the-moment personality. And if you travel around, for example, Vesuvius, you discover that Pompeii, Herculaneum, known as Ercolano, are cities that were completely covered by lava in just about a moment. So in 79 AD, when Mount Vesuvius erupted, Pompeii was covered. And when it was dug up many, many centuries later, it was like a photograph had been taken. And there we have everything preserved in lava and revealed to us as if it were yesterday. It reveals a fascinating cultural aspect of ancient Italian culture. Now, on my first trip to Pompeii, I bought a pair of cufflinks, and I thought it was onyx, but it was actually made of lava, a beautiful shiny black stone. And most people don't think in Italy that lava is all around them. The lava produces an incredibly rich soil so that the foods that grow around Mount Vesuvius, especially the famous San Marzano tomatoes, are incredibly flavorful because there's so much lava in the soil. The same thing applies to Mount Etna in Sicily, which seems to be spewing all the time. I've seen it just throw rocks and lava and everything out of the cone of the volcano. And that produces wine grapes that are incredibly intense in flavor, very hot, and it's what you'd like. It's another aspect of Italy that people don't think about. They live in the present, but they live also with the constant recurring past. The lava represents layers and layers and layers of Italian history, which is among the most fascinating and complex in the world.